A common question I get from customers here at CNCRI.com is what do we do about very, very fine details? Well, this is one of my friend's designs, David Newman. And you can see here there's very, very fine details throughout the design. So what we'll do today, we'll laser cut this and I'll show you how we go about sanding things that really cannot be sanded. At cncri.com, we're able to make wall text and a whole bunch of different uh, details and incredibly ornamental kind of stuff. So for example, here over my shoulder, you see an example of uh, wall text that's just a question mark with some text inside of it and some very fine lines that I launched a couple of days ago on the blog. This here is an extreme example of what's possible with wall text or anything else. Basically, this can be made into that and vice versa. If you look at it very closely, you see some of these details here is about maybe 1 16th or 1 32nd inch or you know half a millimeter or a fraction of a millimeter. This poses interesting challenges because one, this is made out of pine, so pine is not a very strong material to begin with. But how do you go about sanding something like this? What we do here in the shop, we have a number of different tools. Uh, one of the tools we use for something incredibly fine like this is actually our industrial sandblaster. So what we'll do now, we'll take a look at our laser producing this and we'll, then we'll do the next step. Now that you've seen how our industrial laser is able to cut something this fine, and again, it could be one unit or a thousand units, it makes no difference to our machine. We're precise within five nanometers. So the next step after that is because the surface is so fine, you can't actually put a mask over it because the mask just goes flying off. We have a lot of extraction and compressed air uh, going on inside of the machine. So what I did is I put this in our industrial sandblaster and it does a pretty good job. It's not the best job. It's not equivalent to sanding, but it's pretty close to it. And what you can see here is what the sandblaster does, it actually cleans up the surface really nicely. But it also leaves a little bit of the soot. I think that's just because the sand actually pushes some of the soot into the material. So it already gives it a little bit more contrast. But as you can see here in the light, it looks totally fine. So let's take a look at me sandblasting this.
Having access to an industrial sandblaster in our shop, a laser, router, and a bunch of other tools, it allows us to do a lot of projects across a huge variety of materials. For instance, we could have technically done this thing here out of basically any material here in the shop. Some of the unique challenges with wood though, again, is that when you go with something very, very fine, wood doesn't have a lot of strength to it. So you have to be careful about how you go about finishing the product. This here for finishing it, I actually, I'd actually put a layer of paint or white paint or something like that, because it'd look a lot nicer. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what we can do here in the shop when it comes to very fine details.